Hey there, concerned parents. Well, ever find yourself pondering what in the digital world your kiddos are up to on their devices? Well, <laughs> fear not. You hold the power to reign in the chaos and foster a healthier tech environment for your family. How? I hear you ask, by embracing the wonders of family sharing and screen time on both yours and your child's Apple gadgets. Now, I'm Richard Poff, your friendly neighbourhood teacher, here to sprinkle some tech savvy magic your way. Join me in these videos where I'll guide you through the mystical realms of parental controls and on iPads and iPhones. Let's embark on this adventure together and pave the way for a harmonious coexistence with our digital companions. Let's start this journey by setting up family sharing. You can do this on the iPad or on your iPhone. So what we have here is a brand new iPad. This has been set up as a parent iPad. The first thing I'm going to do is go into settings so I can show you how to set up family sharing on this iPad. So let's go into settings. Now let's tap on our Apple ID at the top here. Now we've got this option here that says family sharing. Let's tap on that. When I first set up family sharing, I'm gonna get this screen so I can just press continue. At this point, I can add my family to the family sharing options. Now there's two options here, invite others and create a child account. If you already have an Apple ID set up, then you can invite others. If you don't, then you can click on create child account and that will be the account that you use for your children's iPad or iPhone. We'll come back to invite others later. You can see here it says that child accounts can be created by a parent or legal guardian for children aged 12 or under. So let's do that. Let's create a child account. So I'm going to put my child's name in. I'm going to use test and then I'm going to use child. Then date of birth. So I'm going to choose a different year. I'm going to use 2016. That makes my child about eight years old. Now let's click on verify that I'm an adult. And at this point, if you haven't done so, you will need to provide a credit or debit card to authenticate that you are an adult. I'm going to go through this process, but won't be showing this on the screen. Once you've added your details, just agree and then agree to the terms and conditions. At this point, it's asking you to set up the Apple ID of that your child. So it says here, this email will be the child's name is Apple Die ID and we can edit this suggested email address. Now, if you already have an email address, for your child you can click already have an email address for this otherwise you can just accept what it's already got there or you can edit it if it's already been used then it will tell you this email has already been used but you can change it here I'm going to use one that I've already set up for authentication it sent me a verification code so I just need to get the verification code and add that in and then I can go ahead and create my account. So it needs a password for the account so let's add a password, retype it and then we can continue. It will ask for a phone number to verify it's taken the number that's associated to the parents account if you want to use this number you just use use the number or you can set up a different number. I'm going to use this number at this point, you can set up parental controls. And you can see as I scroll down here, these are all the things that we can do as a result of turning this on. So we're gonna turn on screen time now. Now, at this point, we can set up the restrictions. It's talking you through the restrictions. You can set this up at this point. So it's looking at the different apps. It's looking at the media, etc., etc. We can set that up now, or we can come back to screen time later. We're gonna come back to that later. Apple allows you to protect the children from sensitive photos. So we can turn this on at this point, or again, we can set this up later. If you want to find out more about this, you can click on learn more about communication safety. I'm gonna turn this on. 
We can also set the downtime for the screens. So this allows you to set a time where the children can use their iPad. If they need, like it says, if they need more time, they need to ask for permission. And you can either set this up now or you can set this up later. I'm gonna turn on downtime. Now you need to set a password so the children cannot change any of these settings. So set up a password for screen time. Re-enter it. If your child has got access to the app store and they want to purchase something, at this point it, you can set up so when they ask to purchase something, it will ask you as a parent if you allow them to purchase it. So that gives you the opportunity to look at the app that they want to install before they install it onto their iPad. So I'm going to continue and turn that on. You can also share the location of the iPhone or the iPad. So you can use the Find My app and locate the location of the iPad. But bear in mind, if it's an iPad, it will need internet connectivity in order to be able to do that. For an iPhone, it will work via the 4G or 5G network. I'm going to share the location. Okay, now we're all set. So now what we can do is we can log on to the student iPad with this brand new child Apple ID. So you wanna know more? Why don't you click on one of the videos here and find out more about family sharing and screen time. Oh, and don't forget, if you like this, then subscribe and like my videos.